Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier, at the girls' workshop? Neighbors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white, green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back.
we got company. A volatile. Don't move. You can handle that. I know. I've seen this fucker. This is not fun. <laughs> I hate everything about this. I'm trying to think of the best way not to fuck up because I don't want to do this a bunch of times. Thank God I don't have the um, PC version because the PC version works on sound. I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck do I do this? Cause it said it's gonna ping for me the closer that I get. 
And I have to be concerned about that motherfucker, which means that I have to follow his steps. I don't want to get fucked up. I have no backbone when it comes to this game. I'm struggling a little bit to understand where I'm supposed to go because it's really dark. Let me see. Can I can I fix the brightness? Is this a possibility? No. Oh, yes it is. Okay, options. Pretend the volatiles are in a cell with <laughs> No, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, let's see. Gamma. Apparently, I'm also blind as shit. Oh my god, so much better. There we go. I need to be able to see what I'm doing, and I can't. Okay, so it says find the white and green GRE crate, but how the fuck am I supposed to do that if I don't even know which... Where am I supposed to go? Okay, so I just have to wait for him to make a round, and then once he is... Wait, what was the option when he passed by? There was an option. There was an option. Okay, so what was the option? Could I kill him? Was that a possibility? God damn it, whoever's calling me is an asshole. <laughs> okay, let's see. What was the option? Oh, I can't do it while I'm under the table. Okay. What would be the... Maybe that's what I need to do. Like, maybe that's what I need to do to survive... No, I feel like that's gonna fuck up some stuff. Okay, so I know what I need to do. I just need to do it really fast. When he walks over this way, I have to follow behind him and take him down. But I have to take him down, I think, over in that area. understand why these missions are being done at night. There we go. I 
I knew I had to do something with him, but it couldn't be around the other ones because then... No, that's not the green crate they're talking about. I think there's another one. Otherwise, they wouldn't be making me go through this. Aiden, hurry. If that infected finds you, you're dead. Oh, shut. Wait, what? I don't like that sound. Hold the fuck on. I gotta get my composure back. Hold on. <sighs> All right. Cool. Gotta get my composure back. Your hid from us. I'm scared, Mia. Yeah, me too. And I'm younger. Don't be a chicken, Edie. What if the doctor sees us? He won't. Besides, he'd have to catch us too. Come on, don't back out now. Be a chicken, Eddie. My question is, why the fuck do we have to do this at night? See, it'll tell you when there are, um... It'll tell you which which crate once you get there. What's up? I took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm waiting. <sighs> But good to go. Yeah, that's great. I don't want them to kill the kill him because I. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? I will. How about that? On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. Okay, sorry, I needed to pause for a second. Alrighty. I'm okay, um, I didn't go to work this morning because I felt like crap. Um, mainly just because I don't know what it was, but... I had something horrible to eat yesterday, and I could not function, so I was just not able to leave my house at all. Run. Ah. 
I completely missed that shit and I'm a little upset because what the fuck? Okay, so I have to run, but I need to make sure that I'm not missing. Like, ugh, I'm so upset that I missed that. You miss one thing, you fuck up one time and that's it for you. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. Fuck. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. Run. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I know why we do things at night, because... <laughs> at night, all those guys are out on the street, so it's easier to, uh... nab stuff, I guess. Well, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a Pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. Roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I haven't thought about that. Well, that's odd. Well, there'll be time for that, once I find her. Once you find her? Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me, right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck people. I would have nope. them. It's a completely different story, and I know it seems like it, but it's different. You know the roots. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You want I would die city. for you. I promise. As I would go, die for you. Here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on, let me show you something. Here, you'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador, plenty of interesting spots to check out.
You see the church? That's where the Howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Uh huh. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. This here's a bad. Surprise, motherfucker! Show it up your ass! Watch up! I got something for you, jackass.
Gerard was like. Always focused on others. Never. Stop. I'm not made for this. <laughs> Another of us has been taken. Karina was only 26 years old. The hand of justice will be so. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Back off, kid. Where you're going? What a day. No frigging way I can do it. You're with someone? What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the Grand Master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent. But he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? 
goats get stressed? Wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool Do you mean outside? Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. If you mean outside, yeah, it's storming as it's storming as fuck places. out here. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure, but it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I, I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. I know they said it was a different character, but it really just sounds okay, like they took the voice actor for Crane. Got a date for City Life yet? Yeah, I've been here and there. Step right up, my boy. The finest, the merchant. Stuff around. You are You know, the way. best part is always have to be the center. And that's where we're going. Holy shit. Yeah, it's not quite that dark. Not that dark. Not yet. Okay, so I want to sell things. Let's sell you. Let's sell you. I don't really want that. Sneaker. Resources. Yeah, but what can I sell that's, like, junk? Nothing? Do you not have junk in this game? Let's do equipment. I could use a better... 700? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Renegade... Immunity... Muscle boost... Blah, blah. Your prices are so high for someone who... But like, where do I listen to the tape? Okay, so what I'm confused about, I guess, is my my inventory, because it seems like they just kind of... That's one thing I've noticed um, that I don't like about this, is that I have trouble sorting... The, the inventory was great the first time around, but it seems like their inventory this time around is a little messy. Make you jump. Kind of better world to have, but because it was the end of something painful, they could finally bow out of the futile and exhausting dance of life. Their chore of living would be over, their suffering would end. It was something completely incomprehensible to me. How can a person reject the gift of life?
Yeah, we have um, we are having a thunderstorm here, but it's not quite that bad yet. I think it hasn't fully hit us yet. Wait, so this game is entirely at night? For Carlos and his groundbreaking fence. <laughs> Hope he's still waiting at the bazaar. Oh, cool. That was that was. Can I jump in here? No, that's dumb. Hey, kid. You know some old world folks recorded audio time capsules when they realized the ship was gonna hit the fan. Yes, I do. Hey, kid. Aren't you that pilgrim? Can I help you? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for work. Oh, I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Away. <sighs> Take this. A little sweetness for the circus. Uh, do you often give away honey and backhanded compliments like that? It's honey and wisdom. Like it's getting dark. My gifts to you. I see. So I wouldn't have noticed until you said something, or until anyone said something, or until it started doing what it usually does. Um. I'm just happy that today I would have had to, uh, scooter home, so. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes, and not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. Sometimes I can't sleep because of the awful sound the infected outside. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar! Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You sure he didn't blame me after he started renting? I would 100% agree with you. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? 100% agree of with course. you. Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! You know what these scenarios really suck is that okay, so then if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. Oh, hold on. Not except, well, to hands and can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Sorry, I was just trying to let him finish. Um, mm. our um, our what you may call it. It doesn't really get dark, so it doesn't show it. What I was going to say is, um, in these, and in, in, this is why it's so terrifying, because this video game, it might just be a game, but if we think about it, oh yeah, now it's storming. Now it looks like it's going to fucking come down. If we really think about it, and we think about the way that human behavior is now, you're gonna have things like corruption. You're gonna have people who get greedy because they think they can take your stuff. If we're really thinking about it, you gotta think, how much worse would this scenario be if we had an active apocalypse? 
How much worse do you think it would be if people actually started to turn on each other? People, what is it? There's someone, someone said a quote, when there are rough times, I don't remember who the quote is by, but um, during rough times, people are the greatest danger in emergency scenarios, not the environment around you. So I think I would take like a group of people that I could trust for sure and take them with me. Here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it off, please. I'll go get a Nope. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then. Near the wall. Oh yeah, I see it now. Outside it's fucking Oh, it looks bad. It looks like we're about to have a big-ass storm. So, if my live stream does get cut off because of the storm outside, I am so sorry. Um, you know, I keep forgetting, Panda, you and I both live on the East Coast. Um, so we all suffer kind of the same weather since we're within a couple of hours of proximity. Like... I keep forgetting that we are closer than most, so we suffer the si um, within the same amount of proximity. The only way out. Where are the side quests? I just had it. Something went into mission, reach the final arena and clear the enemies. No. No. Adler's windmill. I don't want to do that one yet. It was a side spark of invention. There we go. Spark of invention. No, but you seem like a bitch. Been eleven years since the chemical bombings almost killed everyone in the city. Yep, there's the rain. Um, but for anyone who uh, may lose me, my we're gonna have a storm here shortly, so I may end up losing <clears throat> losing some power. So. There's a term for what came next: a crisis of faith. And with me, it started long before the epidemic. But when people started to turn into monsters. City after city was eaten by darkness and poison. Sometimes I started to wonder. Forget the fall even happened. Where is God? Is he putting us through a trial? Or has he abandoned us? When Black Monday came, I no longer had any doubts. My wife was a nurse when this There is no have things to do. God. She was alone. For there never was. Because of the THV Genma hey. bombings, two million people lost their lives. The streets carpeted with human corpses. What god would allow that? He would have to be infinitely cruel. Of course, other so-called men of the cloth offer nonsensical observations that this was the will of God. Punishment for our wickedness that Colonel Williams himself served as the hand of God. But that didn't matter anymore. The curtain had been torn off. People lost their faith. A little. Because what more is it supposed to be? Those are all zombies, I think. Um... God damn it. Just jump on the truck, damn it. Um... No, what I was saying, uh, it's not a Batman quote. Um... It's not a Batman quote. Um, I actually don't like Batman. I know. Uh, 
Don't judge me. Sit by the campfire. Sure? We're not gonna, we're not gonna talk like normal people? Yeah, if I lose you guys, then I'll just, I'll do another stream tomorrow. Um, my question is, why are they red? Because they're not enemies. They're not enemies, I don't think. What's in here and oh nope until I get better weapons this is not an option um if you guys do lose me again I'll just do another stream tomorrow I'm um Usually when our complex loses power, it's out for a while, and I know that, um, my partner's probably gonna want to play when they get home, so I, we share, I play for a little bit when I get home, and then he plays when he gets home. So... Gotta share that shit. That's why I would like to invest in my own PlayStation at some point. Oh wait, let's see. Um. Oh okay, yeah, but I'm trying to track that. Quite. How do I? That's the thing that's really um. About this game that I don't like is that. Some of the quest. Cheers, cheers. Okay, so I'm tracking these two. Oh, that's what that means? Wait, I don't want multiplayer on though. How do I turn that off? I don't want multiplayer on because <clears throat> people tend to be How are you standing right now? Also, how the fuck do I do this without fully falling down? Let's stay away from them. All right, let's see. Inhibitor can do shit. Come on. Inhibitor container, am I close? Come on, Bo. I know you already said you said that once. Inhibitor container, where are you? It just feels like, um, it feels a little bit like, thank you, I heard you the first time. Uh, 
Um, I should want to have a field day with that guy. Of course they would. You know them. They love anything that breaks their guideline. But we have a huge OSHA poster, and it really sucks. Um, at our work, I understand it's for safety, but Christ. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's a better weapon. Where is the inhibitor? God damn it. Okay, so this was not the container. Cool. Um, it's in one of these many containers. Awesome. Die. Die. That's right. Oh, wait. Is this not where I'm supposed to go? Oh, tell me it's not inside of the building. I fucking heard you the first time. But I also don't want to go into another building right now. Oh, shit. God damn it. Hmm, hey, what's up? Um, also, where the fuck is this inhibitor container? Because I swear to God. It's telling me it's 33 meters. Let's try this. 33 meters? 22 up. Oh, yep, it's the GRE building. Which I can't do except for at night. That's really stupid. What is this? Is this unknown location? Visit this location to see what... All right, well, I'm gonna craft something and hopefully... Let's try this because I do have the option to craft these and... I think that's enough. I do need to make sure that I have enough medicine. Out of 18, I'm going to do this, and this, and this. I want to give these, um, I want to give these maybe a chance. Oh god. the fuck did you get up here? So now you can climb? What the fuck? There you go. Fall to your death. Nah. We're fighting. Come on. Come on. I know there's a fourth guy, and I don't know where he is. Or at least it sounds like it. Is. 
Okay, so there, there is, there is a fourth guy. What? The fuck, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, I know about the severe thunderstorm. You can fuck off, I know. There we go. There we go. All right, um, I have to, I am supposed to go. Oh, shit. Nope, mm-mm. I'm not waking up the, l I'm not gonna wake up you guys. That's for fucking sure. You can keep throwing stuff at me, but I'm faster than you and you're an NPC. Let's see, okay, so I need to go somewhere very specific and, oh, god damn it, it is that way, okay. Let's see, so I am still trying to figure out, this is my, this is only my second day playing this. I am trying my best to figure out um, exactly how to kind of work with the system that they have set up, which is not like the first game, which, you know, of course, why would it be? Excuse me. Um, it's very different. Uh, not the mechanics, but just the gameplay in general. Um, there isn't shit. Okay. Um, and I have to avoid falling because that's just... Now, I think that if it works relatively similar, then it should kind of work where if you stay on the rooftops, you're essentially safe-ish in the beginning until I get better weapons. So I need to make sure that I'm doing that as much as possible. That is, that's sad. That's very depressing. That's depressing. That is super sad. Um, that that's that's not even like that's just sad. I will say that there are less sounds, and I'm just waiting. Like there was. Um, in the first game, there was this big, huge guy, and I can't remember the name of him, 